Hello and good morning. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, the 5th of May 2019, 07.37 hours, British summer time. It's chilly. We had a bit of an internet outage last night, which meant I had to upload my three point whatever gigs worth of video from yesterday via my three account, which was pretty fast, although I VPN'd it, so that made it even faster. Right, Spoons and investigating a new pub. That's the plan anyway. I don't think you need to guess where, because it's Spoons, it's the King's Fee, it's Hereford, it's day two of MBO2, um, and I'm the mayor again. Which is extremely sad. Anyway, this is Suffolk County, from Nethergate, and it's 4% alcohol by volume. Chestnut ale, and I would say chestnutty colour. Uh, anyway, Mr. Manning carpet. Mm. Malty. Rich. I don't know, not quite chocolatey, but it's got that sort of coldness to it. Although I'm not sure. And if you're not sure, but it looks nice and it's well presented, B plus. So B plus it is. And I still haven't had breakfast yet, which is I need to do some more segments for the podcast. So pint number two. Post tone premium pale ale from Coach House Brewing, 5% alcohol by volume. It's a pale ale. And it looks pale. Mm. Mm. It's slightly sweet, I think there's like honey in it or something like that. But gently bitter. That's not bad. B plus. Great news, the full English is on order, however, they have burned a black pudding. How can that be? Anyway, this is Leah Fail from the Inver Almond Brewery up in Scotland. Rich malty amber ale, 4.7% alcohol by volume. There's the kitchen over there, he says. Um, I'm not sure about the aroma, but that's my nose and it's rubbish. Mm. It kind of tastes like it was in a barrel. There's a whiskey-ish sort of thing about it. And it's full body, there's sort of coffee, chocolateiness, burnt notes. That's not bad. That's completely different. That's B plus in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. Um, oh, it's in the good beer guide. Anyway, so here, Firefly, Tesco's for food, and then every beer house. So I'm sitting near the door. Cask is mainly Y Valley. Okay. The fridge is the fridge is really good. And I'm drinking this. Tyne Bank Brewery from well, Newcastle at one time. Mango IPA, and I think it's 4.1. Yeah, yeah it's 4.1% alcohol by volume. Okay, so mangoes you'd expect sweetness. Mm, slightly off aroma, however. Sharp, tart, acidic, slightly fruity, bitter. That's not bad. I'm not sure about the mango mess of it all, but B plus in a bit. Nicely different. It seems, it seems churlish not to have a brew from the brewery owner. Sure. I don't know if you can see this. Only just Dorothy Good Bodies. 
glorious IPA from the Wye Valley Brewery. Who owned this place? 6% alcohol by volume. 6% is IPA country. The whole point of an IPA is that you bump up the alcohol to make it survive the journey to India. Anyway, I think I was talking about this on the podcast. It was bottled conditions. Store upright is always a sign. Pour gently is always a sign. Bottled conditioned is always a sign. Okay, and this is quite good because it's been watching people come through. It's sort of, um, there's a sharp fruity aroma. Malty, fruity, a bit sharp, a little bit boozy on the finish. That is an IPA. Big plus in a bit. I always get lost when I'm looking for this place. However, they have very fine ales. He just lost customers because the guy behind the bar wandered off. However, this is kangaroo core by Slopium, 4.0% alcohol by volume. <coughs> Remember your customers. Bit fruity. plus in a bit. Not quite a fruit bomb, we're on the way from Shropshire's finest. Post Tesco's, a little bit of editing, finish off the podcast. Wow, I can't even speak my words. Who knew? Salopium, this is all down to you. Practicing for Bristol. Boston grounded, get up and boogie, which I can't because I'm too old. However, three point eight percent alcohol by volume, branded glass. This is it. Mmm, D plus plus. There is no ambiguity.